What is going on? It is Nate the Game Guy coming back with another video at hand. And today I want to talk about as to exactly why I think buying physical games is much better than buying digital only. Now, there are a ton of pros when it comes to buying digital, and we are slowly moving into a digital only future. In fact, I have a whole video where I do talk about how physical media is slowly dying that I do recommend that you guys check out sometime because it is a video where I do a little bit more in-depth discussion when it comes to the slow death of physical media. However, in this video, I want to talk about as to exactly some of the benefits and some of the things that you should know as to why I think you should consider buying games physically instead of digital. I'm not going to be talking about all the cons in this video. I'm not going to be talking about why digital only is good or bad. I'm just going to be focusing on the main topic at hand, which of course is the benefits of buying games physical only games. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video's topic right after the intro. All right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about when it comes to buying games physical when compared to digital is that your games are not tied to an account. So what do I mean by this? Say you go onto the PlayStation Store, Xbox Marketplace, whatever the case may be, you purchase a game and that game is tied to your PlayStation Network account, Steam account, Xbox account, Nintendo account, whatever the case may be, that game is tied down and linked to your account. Let's say you lose access to your account simply because you forget your password and you don't remember the answer to your secret question. Let's say your account gets hacked or whatever the unfortunate situation may be, you lose access to your account. Therefore, you no longer have access to your games. Now, sometimes there are games that you still can play when you are not able to log into your account. But as a general rule of thumb, there are a lot of things that you can lose access to, which happen to be, let's say it's DLC or map packs or say whatever game company has like their DRM setup. You can lose access to your game library. And in worst case scenarios, you might have to rebuy everything that you purchased just to regain access on a brand new account. Now, thankfully, when you buy games physical, that's something that you never have to worry about at all. I'm sure you guys can already imagine. I am a huge advocate for physical games, obviously, because I have an entire channel dedicated to a physical game collection. But when it comes to discussing some of my favorite benefits of buying physical games. That is obviously one of them is that my games are not tied down to an account that if I happen to lose access to one day, I have to rebuy all over again. So that is one thing to keep in mind when it comes to the benefits of physical games. Now, of course, that ties into my second reason as to why I think buying physical is better than digital. And that is once you buy a game, it is yours to own forever. No one is going to come to your home and take it away unless if they're like some thief or some home invader or whatever the case may be. But as a general rule of thumb, let's say PlayStation 6 comes out, Sony's not going to come to your house and take away uh, like the Ratchet and Clank game or like Miles Morales or whatever, right? That's just not going to happen. Um, thankfully, when you do buy your games, they are yours to own forever. And there have been many cases when, say, a game company is switching over to a new platform or they're changing the marketplace or closing the marketplace. There have been times where people have lost access to such games where they no longer have access to play them anymore. And sometimes in deep within the terms and conditions when you are signing up for PlayStation Network or buying something off the Xbox Marketplace, it will let you know that they can sometimes revoke that access from you at any time that they want. Now, I don't know about you guys, 
I'm not a fan of that. So obviously when I'm thinking about more reasons as to why I think buying physical is better than digital, that is obviously one of them is because I don't know about you guys, but when I get a game, I just want to pay for it once and own it for as long as I want it to and not have to worry about some outside force taking it away from me sometime down the line. Now, of course, this is easily one of my favorite arguments, if not my most favorite argument when it comes to buying physical over digital. And that is a physical collection, in my opinion, just looks way cooler than just having just a giant Steam library where you go through all the lists and you see all your games. Meanwhile, you get to have a wall that you get to show off to people and be like, oh yeah, Dead Space 2, I got that one. Or say, for example, like, let's see here, NCAA Football 14, got that one too. You can show this off in a much cooler way. To me, I think it's just, I don't know. There's just something about pulling a game off a shelf, popping it into a console and playing it, then rather than just turning on a console, going down the list of games or PC, and then you just click on the game that you want to play. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of uh, convenience to that, but I will say for someone who is really into collecting games and all that wonderful stuff, I just think it looks cooler when you have a shelf where it's just filled with games and you get to look at it, you get to feel it, you get to touch it, and you just, you know that it's there, you know that it's yours. I don't know. It's just something about that whole concept that I just think is much more cooler than just having some digital library to look at. So of course, another thing that I wanna talk about when it comes to buying games physical when compared to digital, is sometimes buying the physical release is cheaper than the digital release. Now that is not always the case especially when it comes to Super Nintendo games. Say if you buy a game like Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo, sometimes it might be a lot cheaper to buy Mega Man X Legacy Collection, or if that's the name, I can't remember at the top of my head, digitally. Sometimes buying the Legacy Collection digitally is a lot cheaper than buying all the original Mega Man X games physically. However, I noticed this a lot with the Call of Duty games, especially with Activision released titles. Like a lot of times, if you wanna buy a copy of Black Ops 2, you can find it locally, sometimes for about 10 bucks. I've seen it sometimes go up for like 15, 20 dollars on eBay or whatever. Meanwhile, it is still a 50 to 60 dollar game on the Xbox Marketplace. So obviously, if you want to still play the exact same game, for a much lower price, it's only going to make more sense that you pick up that game at like a local game shop or like some random eBay listing. But of course, like I said, that's not always the case when it comes to physical when compared to digital. It just depends on the game, depends on the situation along with a few other things. But sometimes it is much cheaper to buy a game physical instead of digital. Now, another thing that I have to address when it comes to buying games physical when compared to digital is that you don't have to worry about the games corrupting. And what do I mean by this? Say you accidentally pull out the hard drive in some way that you're not supposed to, turn off the console in some way you're not supposed to, the file gets corrupted where that game you're essentially going to have to either re-download or whatever the case may be, you just have to either rebuy, re-download, or whatever it is. Uh, you don't have to worry about that with physical. That's just something you don't have to worry about because if you have the game physically, you keep good care of it, you take good care of it, that's not really something that you're gonna have to worry about. Now, of course, physical games are not bulletproof and they're not indestructible either. In fact, I have a video where I talk about disc rot that I do recommend that you guys check out that I'll be showing somewhere in this video. 
because that is a real issue when it comes to physical games, especially disc only games. Now, that video is not meant to scare anybody in any way whatsoever, but it is meant to address an issue. And for the most part, if you take good care of your games, they will last a while. In fact, there's a really good chance you may outlive your game library if you take good care of them. But yes, that is something that you don't have to worry about when you have games physically is that you don't have to worry about the game file corrupting and then you've got like some giant headache on your hands. That's just something you don't have to worry about, thank goodness, when you buy a game physically. All right, and that will conclude my video as to why I think you guys should buy your games physically instead of digitally. What do you guys think? Did you find the video to be entertaining, informative, any of that good stuff? If you did, feel free to comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Of course, please do consider liking the video. It helps boost it up into the YouTube algorithm so more viewers such as you can find videos just like this. And of course, please do consider subscribing. I post a ton of content when it comes to game collecting, game collecting tips, video game related subjects. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, please do consider subscribing. But if you're going to subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell notification button. So that way you will be notified when I upload a video just like this. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll be seeing you guys next time.